love so much about her is even though she's been thrust into the spotlight so young, she is just keeping it real. Yeah, she she absolutely is. Yeah, she's, I mean, she baffles me. She's so cool about it, the whole thing. Yeah. So did you guys have to do a screen test? Yeah, yeah, I, I auditioned uh, with the director and the producers, and then a week later I came in and did a screen test with Miley, and yeah, it went really well. We I was going to say, how did, how, I mean, how did it go? Were there instant chemistry? Did you guys just get each other right away? Yeah, I mean, we did. We, we kind of, It was all pretty quick. Um, we come in, and we read, and yeah, we, we had really good chemistry on screen, and we got along really well. She's super friendly, and um, yeah, the whole shoot was, was so easy because we got along together, you know, behind the camera. Yeah. Now, like you said, you've done some bit things here and there, and mm -hmm. then you do this movie with Miley Cyrus, who's a big superstar in the United States and really all over the, the world. Was it interesting to see those paparazzi and those people that are kind of hovering, waiting to get that shot? I mean, that's probably something that you've never experienced. Before. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, it's a big shock. Uh, I'm still not used to it. It's uh, you know, it's such a funny thing that yeah, when you have you know ten photographers following you around your private life and taking photos of you and. Um, I don't know how you deal with it. I don't know how you get used to it. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, after you guys dropped the film, obviously, you guys were still hanging out. Yeah, still hanging out. And that must be a difficult thing to have a, a private life in kind of this public Yeah, life. I mean, it's it's hard to have a private life. It's hard to keep things private. Um, yeah, how do you do it when there's people taking photos of you all day? So how have you done it? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you lose them, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Most of the time you don't. <laughs> it wasn't in the script, me singing. Um, in one of the rehearsals, I just started singing along, kind of making fun of Miley. And, and then, uh, then the director told me to do it in the scene, and, and then I was singing in the film. And then it made the cut. Yeah, and then maybe, it made the cut. <laughs> maybe a duet in the works. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I think <laughs> people probably just want me to stop after that. But. You'll just go to her concerts to get a good, good feel of her music. G yeah, just listen. Yeah. I won't try to perform. That you've been to some of her concerts. What's the feel there? What's that it's like? awesome. I, I don't know if you've been to one, but uh, she's her whole show is amazing. It's dancing and fireworks, and you know, it's it's a real performance. It's it's great. Yeah. She's a firecracker. She certainly is. Yeah. I think it was a, a perfect time for kind of everyone, um, especially you know uh, me, just to get out of everyone you know needing something from you or wanting something from you or wanting some type of story. It was nice to be able to go somewhere where you, um, that wasn't important to them. It's not about a new story, it's not about anything. It's about making something that you really love and, and they were really happy to be a part of that. Yeah, and it, I think she could breathe, you know? It's yeah. like, she, you got a great summer vacation. Yeah, we, we all did. You got to just play and be yourself and of course there were thousands of Miley fans too. But you still got your, you know, you still got a great, yeah. great yeah. life for the summer. Yeah, and your leading man in this film, Liam Hemsworth, I just had a chance to talk, talk with him and he's pretty fantastic. Yeah, he's amazing and um, again it makes it so much easier when you're doing a film and there's and there's like chemistry and um, you know, I was just really lucky to meet him and know him and I think no matter what happens, um, we'll always be friends because there's just something that's like that you can't fake. It's the same thing with Kelly and I or um, even once me and Greg really got to know each other, you can't fake that kind of thing. Either you have feelings for someone or you don't or you vibe with someone and you don't, but me and I were just really connected and we've been like that since we met.